Hey, Leslie here from Cylon Rolling Acres. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit about our watering systems that we have here on our, our farm in Western Wisconsin where we raise goats and sheep. First two I will talk about are focused on our seasonal watering systems. One is tied in with our pasture, our existing pastures, and the other, the other one, which we have two versions of, are a mobile watering system. And then our third one is our frost-free water waters as well. So let's go and take a look at how they all work. So in our existing pastures, we have a seasonal water line that runs through the perimeter of our pastures. And we have outlets where we can connect to that water to access that water. And that, that poly pipe that lays above ground runs into our barn where we have an existing hydrant. And so we're able to um, turn that water on and it can feed livestock tanks with a float um, wherever we have it located in our pastures. It works really great for us. Um, we're in Wisconsin, so we do get winter. So come fall, we will, as we get closer to when it freezes, we will blow out the water lines with a little attachment that we put, um, that we created um, that connects to a, um, sorry, I'm laughing at my border collie here. We made a little attachment that connects to a air compressor, and then we just hook, and then we put keys in the end of the black pipe um, in the end of each pasture, those are our two main outlets out. And then we turn on the air compressor and it just helps blow out all the water. I'll go through um, after that's been running for a, um, a few hours and then put keys in all the other outlets just to let the water drain. That typically is enough just to get most of the water out. Um, so that way if anything is in there, um, if it does freeze, it's got room to contract and not cause any issues. Um, with our water that that works perfect for us because um, then after that in the fall when we're kind of in between grazing season and we're still grazing but we might but it might be too cold to use the watering system we will just run a tank um, with a mobile like f larger tank that will feed it that way so here's how our system works we have right now we have this set up here and actually forgive me <laughs> It's a little dirty, I need to dump it. Um, we don't have animals here, but I thought because I was going to share a video, I'd just leave it set up. But this tank is set up um, to a garden hose right back here. I have the garden hose back here. And actually, I'm just gonna dump it. But we will connect our garden hose to these tanks with quick connects. It works really slick, so that way we can move our tanks around. But then we have a float as well. And then this hose connects to this outlet that we have down here. And we have these throughout our pasture. This one I'd put in the corner so we could access it outside our pasture and kind of um, jump onto it. And you can see right here where it is attached and the garden hose runs right off of it. And as I'd mentioned, our existing water line will runs all the way down the perimeter of this pasture and it's the same in our other three main pastures. And we have those outlets that are on there just to hook up um, to it to fill tanks um, using garden hoses. It works really well. Uh, we don't have any, um, this is just an all above ground. The only areas where we do have it underground, we have it running through just a small well, um, culvert where we have like our driveway or animal walkways just so we're not damaging it there. But other than that, it's all above ground and it works perfect. We don't need anything underground um, for this setup in particular. So it comes up right from our barn right up there and comes down through here. You can see it right here. Right now, actually while I film this and work on this, um, I am filling up one of our holding tanks. Our herd, our flock that's in the grazing our hay field and our woods has this, this tote, this food grade tote that holds the water. And I'm just working on filling it up right now. 
but then we work off of a a hose that goes to a really small tank with a float and initially I had a larger tank a larger tank on it but actually I really like the smaller tanks um, on it just for the sheer fact is if I've got to move animals to a new paddock which this with this group we've got well over a hundred some animals it's easier I mean they drink a lot so it's good to have the float but it's easier to not have a large tank because I'm not wasting as much water so as I move them I can just dump out the pan and then we can move move forward to the next paddock and I'm also trying to position our water in locations where I'm moving it every other time um, I probably would maybe go with a slightly bigger um, tank than the mineral tub, but that's what I have right now in our woods, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. That setup has got a little bit bigger tank than what we have here, but it's also got a smaller or, um, holding tank for the water itself. Here's another version of our portable watering system for our goats that are in the woods. And this is similar to the other one that I had showed you, but on a little smaller scale. And I like this one because the tank and the trailer are more right sized to each other. The other one that we were using, I like the poly tote. It works great. Um, I probably need just a smaller trailer, but right now we're using the UTV trailer that we have because we have it. Um, probably next year, I'm gonna look at how I might upgrade our watering system for that group now that we'll have two groups that are grazing off grid on our farm and away from our permanent infrastructure of seasonal water lines and so forth. So this one we've got a little, we've got about a 60 gallon tank here and a small um, U-Trax trailer. We added the, the um, hitch stand on here just so it has um, good mobility or good stability that way. Um, I will say I don't have it on here right now, but this one would be better outfitted if I had put a strap around the side of it so that way when we drive with it, it doesn't have, we don't run into any risk of the tank um, sliding around. Over here, we've got a shutoff valve, also with quick connects as well, that runs from a garden hose to a tank float and then a small um, livestock tank. And I really like using the small tanks just because all of our goats, no matter the size they are, can access them. But also when we're moving to new paddocks, either we can drag the tank um, easily and maintain the water that's in there or do a quick dump and then um, be able to work from the, the existing water that's there and not waste a lot of water um, since we're moving fairly quick. I don't wanna be running back and forth refilling the tank if we don't necessarily have to do that. Um, we maybe could use a little bit larger tank out here, but this is an instance where we're working with infrastructure we already had. So we already had this tank, we already had this trailer, so it it worked out to actually be a not too bad um, situation set up for us as well. I like to keep this tank outside of the paddock so the goats aren't climbing on it. Um, you also notice in the tank, I have a pool chlorine tab. We keep those in there um, just to help keep any algae growth at bay. Um, just think of it kind of like a treated water. Um, it's just enough to kind of keep that water clean and also it encourages, when we have clean water, it encourages our livestock to continue to drink it. Now the next water I will show you um, is our frost-free waters. We had these put in last summer so we could use them in the winter time, depending when we're grazing in our pastures. In the summer, we will use them now if it's in proximity of where we're grazing, it makes things easy. Otherwise, they're solely for winter use. In the past, before last winter, we were filling stock tanks two to three times a day with water and it just got to be a lot. And with sheep and goats, it's really hard to find large stock tanks and not to mention running drop and tank heaters as well. So this has been really a great um, add-on for our farm. I'm actually, because we graze, I'm really glad we didn't add them originally because I can see better how we utilize our pastures and manage our herd using a grazing, a grazing base management system versus when we first got goats, I probably wouldn't have set up 
the waters where exactly I'd want them. Aside from placement and being happy with that and where we put them, I'm really, really glad that we um, went with them. It's just, as our herd has grown, so it has like how we manage, you know, just everything just kind of accumulates and how you manage your herd. Um, I'm also glad we have them out in the pastures because that gives us ability to bale graze throughout the whole farm where we have our existing pastures and that's something we really haven't been able to do in certain areas just because of proximity for water. That's it for our watering options here on our farm when it comes to seasonal op permanent options for summer grazing off-grid options for summer fall grazing um, and brush work in our woods and then of course permanent options for our farm during the winter months as well so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below or if you want to learn or see something a little bit more in depth let me know as well too and i could potentially do a video on that and, or a blog post on that as well. I'll also have more in-depth information about our systems on my blog, grazingwithlesley.com, which you can find a link below in the show notes as well.